Here we go with a Valen Ecotech Plus G10 seal replacement. We'll put that there. So, started the video a little bit late, um, as I forgot that I should be recording this. So what I've already done here is you take off the case and usually you can see some kind of crust and here you can also put your analyzer here if you get some readings. Usually um, indicates that the G10 seal needs replacing. Um, I usually replace these every five years anyway, as standard. Um, so what you want to do, there's two screws here, which are just normal. Whoop, nice one. Which are just normal Phillips screws that go in there and there. So you take them out. You then have one, two, three, four, five bolts, which you can undo with just a small ratchet. Ten, size ten. Uh, Undo all of them, take them off, done. Next thing you wanna do is you pull off spark electrode lead and the earth in. You can put that to the side. What happens here sometimes is when you run down all these, this should all come off. But sometimes this is really stuck together. So what you do is get a little flathead I'll just demonstrate that as well. I get a little flat head and I put it in there and I kind of just lever it out and then it pops off. Then you remove the whole section. And as you can see, that definitely needs replacing. And this seal will place two plus we'll give these Electrodes, a little scrub as well. Let's look inside there. Maybe we'll give that a wipe down as well. Um, so yeah, let me grab my stuff quickly. The exchanger, I'm gonna give a little scrub. Try get that. Nice wire brush. Looks much better already. Very good. And pour some water down there. Mm. We'll just wash all that down. stuff next thing we're gonna do I've actually only got this to clean my electrodes so I'm gonna carefully ideally want some kind of file but this will do cleaned all the components we want to pop this out as you can see it's not that easy when you have a flat screwdriver on you mm. get out get out of there man Shit. Nah, boom. that's gone that to the side there we'll clean up after that's out now what you want to do is remove the seal I don't know how to hold the camera when I do this but I'll try to put it here what you want to do is maybe lever it slightly in multiple places and it should. I say should. Go 
this one definitely needs a replacer. Okay. So you leave it like here, 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 here. Should start popping up. I would recommend wearing gloves as well. This gets a bit. Oh, okay, so it snapped. So the issue with these is they're holding it so strong. Now, it's good to get a nice size blade. And unfortunately, we'll need two hands for this. But what you want to do is you want to start scraping it and trying to lift it. If you're lucky, it all comes out. But yeah, not my day today. So let's carry on stripping this out. Boom. Look, just wedge it under there and scrape it. And it will start coming out. Okay, actually it all came out mainly in one piece. You will have the bit where the sticker is that usually stays locked in there. And what I will do is just get a flathead and really scrape all this off. Make sure there's nothing left inside this groove. So I'm gonna scrape that. some Chinese version but it will do pop that in make sure you put this facing down this groove is facing up make sure you pop that in properly it doesn't really hold sometimes so when you put it in you have to make sure it's sitting there there we go that's popped in that's holding now, graphite seal. I don't know why, but I've seen people take this seal off. Not a good idea. That's what holds the ring together. So I wouldn't be taking it off. Um, I usually tend to put it back where the old one was. I don't know if that's just a thing I do or if anyone else does that. But I usually put it. And look, you squeeze it in. Make sure you put the fat side downwards. And then look, you go along, pushing it in, making sure it's in all the way around. You wanna even like stretch it a bit as you're getting to the last bit, cause it stops lining up with the hole. One second, I need another hand for this. So when it doesn't pop in, sometimes I grab a screwdriver, a flathead, and gently push the edge in and push down and make sure it goes in flat. Once it's all in, happy days. Um, we shall now Look, in the instructions, it says to put this chemical thing around the nuts. I'm not really sure what that is going to do. If anyone knows, please tell me. But as they say to do it, we shall do it. So give me one second. I'm going to spread a little bit of this pastiness around the, around the screws.
bit. Alright. Once that's all in, seal sitting nice and flush. Oh, that doesn't look great. Push that back in. Okay, there's one little bit here I still need to push in. Now it's all flush. What we do? Put this back on. What I usually do first is put these two screws in. So line up the gas valve and stuff and put the screws in. Let me get the screws. What I found, you don't want to screw any of these in all the way first um, because if you screw one in, there's no movement and then you are more than likely to cross thread the second one. So just screw one in just to hold it. Put the other one in, make sure they're both screwing in nicely and then secure both of them. Now, five nuts. I tend to put these on by hand first and then just tighten them all. Usually going from bottom to top. You know the deal here, I'm not gonna waste time recording this. Okay, once you've got them all on, I tend to do up the bottom one, then do up the top one. I love the small Weira ratchet set, very good. Right. Very good. Don't forget this one. I'm trying to hide Larry not to get you. Nice and tight. Boom. So amazing with wrist workout. Looking at a hawk after this. Put the electrode ignition back on. Electrode lead put the spark electrodes back on and that's it you are done what you want to do now is your 26 9 checks and make sure everything's running smoothly very good nice one